Salam alaikum. Wa shukran. Uh, thank you, Dr. Rashid, for the opportunity to uh, speak this afternoon at the Congress. I really appreciate it. And thank you all for giving me the opportunity to, uh, to share with you my thoughts and for giving me your attention for a few minutes this afternoon. Uh, I will apologise for making a slight uh, detour uh, away from some of the excellent uh, speeches that I heard and ideas from previous speakers around sustainable technologies, uh, around green buildings, and around the state of the planet. However, you know, listening to the speakers, what I do realise is that just like solar and just like hydro, we are also a renewable energy. You know, we're a natural resource as humans and we've got great potential. So the topic that I'd like to speak with you for a few minutes and have a conversation with you about is creating your own sustainable legacy. Okay. Now why? Well, 2017 for me has been a really eventful year. Uh, I run a business and uh, does anyone here run their own business? Great. And does anyone here want to have thoughts of running their own business in the future? Wonderful. So uh, I'm about two years into my project, and uh, it's an adventure. So I've got all of those challenges, and those of you who run your own business will know that it's an adventure that you hope your bank manager also shares with enthusiasm. But something else happened to me this year. Two people in my life who made an impact for me, uh, one when I was a very small boy, right up until I was a teenager, uh, a man who was like a second father to me, and a dear friend of mine that I worked with here in the United Arab Emirates, who was a mentor to me, and who uh, I was able to observe him as a leader, uh, they both died this year. And for me, that was a real shock because they both happened uh, within a very short space of time. And it got me thinking. And it got me thinking about what I learned from them. So the topic that I'd like to speak with you today is about legacy. It's about what people leave behind. So legacy, legacy is, is what people remember you by. It's what people remember after you're gone. But legacy is also the things that we do that we learned from other people. So the way they guided us in our thoughts and our actions. And why that's important is because what I feel having worked on this topic is that a lot of us, uh, put, put, just put your hand up if you have no pressure in your life. No? Put your hand up if you think you have moderate pressure or high pressure in your life. Yeah, okay. Me too. <laughs> So I'm glad I'm not the only one. What that often translates to is focusing and narrowing our focus on what we're doing. And what I mean by that is with my business, when I first set my business up, a goal was I want to be around in five years. So five years to me was a signpost for success. And having lived and worked in the region as an expatriate, 
many of you will agree, I'm sure, that we set quite short-term goals. But legacy is about long-term. And I really liked uh, listening to, where is uh, Dr. Muhammad Tariq? Is he still here? Great. Dr. Muhammad, I really liked listening to what you say about thinking about people you may never see and you may never meet. And so when you think about legacy, I want you to think about people you may never see or you may never meet. I hope that's not them. <laughs> so breaking out of that paradigm of thinking short term and actually thinking long term. Now what is legacy? Well, the other thing is legacy is based on your consistent behavior. So I'd like you to think about legacy in three ways. One is positive. The other is negative. And the other is no legacy at all. Now, history is full of heroes and villains. So when you think of heroes in history, you may think of someone like Nelson Mandela, who many think in Africa is uh, considered the father of democracy. If you think negatively, you know, many people think of someone like Adolf Hitler and think, well, he was a destructive force in the world. So you have positive and you have negative. But sadly, the world is also full of people who I call almost observers. They sat and they watched life happen. And I think that is also a terrible tragedy. So I want you to start thinking about your legacy for the future. Positive, negative, or perhaps no legacy at all. <laughs>